Hey guys, Alex from Online Tarot with your monthly numerology and this video is for Life Path or Character number 7 for March 2020. We have your general information, some oracle cards, money, changes and love life. But please remember it's still a general reading so it may play out for you, it may not play out for you. And uh, if it's not your reading and if it's not your message, check out my other uh, videos of bigger cards or check out other readers on YouTube there are a lot of them and they are amazing and some I'm sure one of them is making a video just for you today if you don't know how to calculate your life path number I will leave a link down below in the description box where I explain how to do this or you can just google it's really simple so uh, and if you like the video please hit the like button your likes do motivate me to do more videos for you and uh, leave me a comment tell me what you think about this video and if you're in need of a private reading the information how to get one with me is down below in the description box so let's start Ooh, ten of swords four of pen what is going on life path number seven hmm just give me a second i need to be sure one more <laughs> and one more something you're holding on for something that you need to let go you are definitely holding on to something that you need to let go let's see like this okay the first three that we got and the next three you, but by holding on to something with this fourth pentacles right you are kind of hurting yourself uh you are hurting yourself and you are hurting your future you're looking back at something uh, instead of moving forward you're looking back at something this has been a lesson and you need to cut the cord with somebody or with the situation you really need to let go you need to cut through it for your future to happen to you because i do feel like with this fate uh it's it's a karmic lesson but while you are unable to walk away from there while you're stuck and something didn't maybe something didn't work out or uh, a relationship with somebody didn't work out or your relationship is not working out and we had a lot of seven divorce in last year maybe you are holding on to this uh situation or there is some other situation that is painful and you are stuck in this pain and you are holding on to this pain and you are looking back instead of learning your lesson cutting the cord and i do feel like it's really important here for you cutting the cord with somebody or with some situation for this faded for new uh things to come into your life for something it's like something's there waiting for you I had similar vibe with life path number six similar they also have something for you for them but they're not open for it and it seems like you are uh, but in a different uh, way by by looking back by constantly looking back looking back and looking back and looking back so you gotta stop it because you, you have to start looking forward there are there are new new stories for you new good things for you they're coming and they're coming with this milk and honey and with the tribe i do feel like um, new people are gonna enter your life for some of you even new love like com completely new completely new uh for some of you you may um meet again somebody who is your um, soul family there is some kind of a soul connection so soulmate situation you may meet them again but more like a friend it's not a, for most of you it's not romantic but it's a friend who feels like uh, your family you may reconnect with them and there are, there are definitely new people, new happy moments, new things coming. It's like they are there. You're just not seeing them. What about your love life? Yeah. You, you are either trying to... Maybe you're watching somebody with this page of swords and the queen of wands and the three of pentacles. 
you are watching somebody maybe you're watching them from afar trying to get their information you don't feel like you can do something about it so one more number seven what's happening with you you feel like this person is your joy your happiness your dream come true but it's kind of you are sure so either you have the third party on your side or they have the third party on your side and you are looking kind of you are watching them you're checking them out something like this you are almost ready to to do this next step it's like but you're standing and waiting and waiting and waiting you're not doing you are not acting you are sitting contemplating pitying yourself watching them dreaming about them but it's kind of you cannot cut the cord and really move toward them so again it's either you are stuck in 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 another re relationship or you're just you you're afraid that they have another relationship and somehow you are just stuck and you're waiting for things to happen to you you're not moving forward so again if it's you another person you are stuck with or a situation you are stuck with or just a mindset you are stuck because you're waiting for things to happen to you while well, you have to be the one to act you're the queen of wands here the ground is yours you want this person you can you can totally if you're ready to fight but you are not you are not and again and i have to say i don't don't mean to offend you or whatever but it's your choice not not acting if you keep waiting you will be waiting but there are some things coming if you just stop looking back but go forward for some of you maybe this is uh, this reconnection situation you're looking back like something wrong happened but you need to go forward if you want a new kind of a relationship with this person it has to be different so do something differently act something uh act in a different way if you choose so for now you're just choosing not to what about money huh you're not really thinking a lot about money your mind is busy with your love situation you're stuck there and i don't see you uh your your money is doing okay so you're kind of getting it automatically this is what I'm, I'm i'm getting that this is the only card about money here because you're all about you're all in your head about emotions so you are not happy you are you are stuck in the past you are crying you're thinking about this two of cups situation yeah about this person that you um have feelings for and your money they're okay they're okay maybe not too great but not too bad as well it's like uh you've been working a lot in the past and you're just getting the rewards at the moment so your money is okay but your mind is totally not with your money so let's see the changes six of pentacles and four of wands And four of swords. Come on. Come on, number seven. <sighs> Again, this is what you can have with the six of uh, six of pentacles and four of wands. Six of pentacles, and it's when you invest something and you give the equal uh, investment back. It's equal give and take. If you start doing, if you start investing, you can have this four of wands, you can have this beautiful reconciliation with the, your soulmate, uh, friend, or loved one, or, or you can meet them. For, for those of you for whom it's a new person coming. But again, you are putting things on hold, you're waiting you're waiting you're not choosing you are not doing but you are waiting while you're waiting you will be waiting nothing will happen again the ground is yours so now number seven your choice do something about it or keep waiting i have no idea how long you will be waiting then well uh thanks for watching i hope the message will find whoever needs to hear it and I hope to see you soon with my other videos. Bye, number seven.